Hi, I'm Richard Madden, and I'm here with British GQ, and this is me versus the universe. I don't really have a style icon. There's a style that I've liked, my Sean Connery's old style, or David Bowie's stuff in the 80s that was just kind of exciting and simple and bold. But I don't really have a style icon, I'm pretty simple. Best outfit I ever worn, I think, was a Armani tux that was custom made for me for the Cannes Film Festival, and it was white, white. Armani Tux and I felt pretty good in that. Nightmare by the end of the night, it was filthy. But um, at the start of the night, it looked good. I looked like a fucking napkin by the end of the night. Worst outfit I ever worn. I think I went shopping when I was drunk and somehow ended up with brown cords. Um, they went back the next day. I would tell my younger self not to buy brown cords. Jeans. I am way more of a jeans man. I mean, tuxes are great. They're just kind of impractical. I'd much rather be in my jeans. I don't know where the first place I'll go is. Most probably back to Scotland to see my family. I'm just, I'm working at the moment, so uh, that kind of gets in the way of traveling around. Well, probably back up to see them. Honestly, and not just because I'm working with Calvin Klein, is CK1 was the first fragrance I ever received at Christmas time. I was young and learned the hard way not to use too much. I can nearly give myself a nosebleed. Simple all black. <laughs> I, um, I used to just wear black t-shirts and black jeans all the time. Very comfortable in that, very boring. What is a wellness routine? As in, do I exercise? Yeah. Do I put moisturiser on my face? Yes. If that's wellness, then yeah. Try a bit of meditating now and again when I'm stressed out or can't sleep and to drink loads of water. That's all wellness related, isn't it? Um, yeah, I use different apps or just kind of clearing my mind things. Um, just anything that isn't screaming into the void. <laughs> moment in my career I'm proudest of. I remember getting ready for the Golden Globes with my mum and my dad in my hotel room. And I remember just being, you know, they were in their fancy outfits and I'm in the tux and we we're kind of in my hotel room getting ready going, wow, this is so exciting. And yeah, I was really proud of that. I was proud of being in Los Angeles with them, about to go to an award ceremony and I could take my parents with me. It all felt very exciting. Hike in the mountains any day. Um, yeah, I'd much rather than a beach day. If I'm in Scotland or if I'm kind of even in LA, I love hiking there or hiking in Scotland. A beach day doesn't really interest me that much. Um, I have an Instagram. I don't have a TikTok. To be honest, I feel like I'm 100 years old because I actually just don't understand what TikTok is. All I know is that it it scares me because I feel like I'll just be sucked into the void. I stay off both. I barely even look at Instagram, to be honest. There is zero chance of me doing a TikTok account. Uh, David Bowie. I like his music very much. I wish I could have watched him perform. Most of lockdown, I watched a lot of reality TV. I got really deep in Below Deck. I think I watched every episode of that. I kind of found that I didn't, I wasn't able to to focus on like heavy drama or anything that was kind of serious or anything that was kind of traumatic. Um, I just wanted to watch kind of reality TV and that's what I kind of, I kind of drifted into watching the most of. I think I spent so much of my day doing drama and kind of heavy scripts. Then when it came to lockdown, I was quite happy just to watch things like Love is Blind or The Circle or all these kind of absolute junk TV shows that just give you light relief. First time I ever earned money for acting was a film I did when I was 11 years old called Complicity, um, which is a very adult Ian Banks novel. And I played a part of one of the lead characters flashback in childhood, which was pretty heavy subject matter, but it was my first check as an actor. I think my second check was uh, for a TV show I did for a couple of years called Barmy and Boomerang. And with that, I bought myself a mini disc player. I am a hundred years old. <laughs> I don't really know, to be honest. Um, I think there's something about Madden and an eagle, I'm sure. I think my dad found something to do with that, with an eagle. So maybe there'd be an eagle on there because of that, or maybe I just invented that. Either way, let's put an eagle on it. Um, I tend to not read anything about myself. I do remember someone asking me about how much I used to wear bandanas, that I used to always wear them, and I just thought that was quite an odd rumor because I don't think I've ever worn a bandana, but sure, bandanas. People are fucking mad. 
I have never done karaoke. The shock. No, I've, do, I've never done karaoke. I just don't really, not done it. So I don't have a karaoke song. Maybe uh, I've got time to work that out, I think. Thank you for watching. That's, what did you want me to say? Hi, thanks for watching. Hi, bye. Bye, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. That was me versus GQ for the universe, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm the universe. This is GQ. <laughs> Goodbye. Thanks for watching. That was me versus the universe with GQ. I'm Richard Hammond. I'm Richard Madeley. I'm Richard Madden. <laughs>